Hey, what's up guys? Looking to sort of Pat Taste Performance. Today is vlog number two on the Honda Element build. Today we are going to upgrade to Aux Beam F16 LED headlights. Now, by mistake, because I wasn't reading correct, because whatever, I ordered the CAN bus adapters. I thought that had to do with um, power outage, but it really doesn't. That just has to deal with um, cars that have a light that comes on in your dash if you have a bulb that is out. Hondas don't have that. But check out these beauties. Nice and gold. Um, let's just see. Right. Ooh. I've got to do these one by one because I actually have an errand to run today. And I'm not sure what time they're coming. But let's see what we got. Okay, so here's a cooling fan right here. I don't know if you guys could see that. So a plastic fan. This spins around and keeps the LED light cool. And this here is the plug that goes into. And here's this module that powers everything. This is where all your technology is. F16, 12, 12.4, H1, H4, 9007, 9004. This is a high low. Now, when I'm behind the element, I just kind of just pull that out. It's right there. Right? So, what we're going to do is I'm going to try and capture this for you guys. It's essentially plug and play. Right? Are we going to get that? Yeah. So remove that, pull the rubber boot out, and here, rubber boot comes out, okay, then you're going to search for a metal tab, right, and you're just going to push in and pull out, and our factory bulb is out. See that? And what are these? Ah, China. So these are a no-name brand, which is fine. It works. Now, how does this light get affixed to the housing? It's a really good question. And in the package... Hold on. Hold on. Are these. So is this. See that? See how this slides over? And there are these slots. So slide those over till it comes in. And that's how our bulb is going to fit. So let's get this in there. Let's line this up just like the factory bulb. You'll know, you can feel it. Now, because this looks a little wider, I have a feeling it's going to be a little tricky sliding this in. So we are in. Okay. Let's just see what we have here. We need to match this up. You see that? Match this up. Fat, skinny, fat, skinny. Let's just see. Okay, you see this here? It's going to go right in just like this. So we need to emulate that with the three prongs. Fat at the top 
and the two skinnies at the bottom. Here we go. All right, we're in. So now we just kind of got to squeeze this past the cooling fan. Unless it kind of holds it in. All right, that's a little weird. All right, so because this is too fat, right? The actual bulb itself is fat. The wires that hold in the bulb just click into here. And now we're holding it in. Now we have to put this rubber boot in. Right, but as you guys can see, right, this is too small for that diameter. So what we're gonna have to do, right, is be careful. I can't remember the last time I sharpened my knife, which is bad. But just use it to cut open boxes at work. Is literally trim this edge off. Alright, let me go do that. Alright, so I trimmed this side off. As you see, I cut the I cut the top off. Alright, and I was a Neanderthal and I actually ripped that. Don't do that. So now we're just going to slide this through. Right? And put it on. Now this says top, so let's do that. And plug it in to our connector. Like so. See that? It's nice and tight. A little dirty. Look in the driver's side. Looks like we're gonna have to remove the intake form, which isn't the worst. Alright, so we're here at the E. I'm just gonna turn the car on just for poops and giggles. Alright. Lights on. Huh? Very nice. Now I have to clean this up. I will do that. Okay, you see that gear there? I don't know what you're see that white? That's our adjustment. Obviously, we can't do that now. But pretty much plug and play. And there are no lights in the dash. Now let's see if I do higher. You now I'll put my highs on. Does it seem to get brighter? Not really. So that was pretty simple. Not complaining. Do I have enough time? Yeah, I should have enough time. Let's do the driver's side. Driver's side seems fairly simple. We're just going to remove this intake. That's it. Look at that. Oh, we've got to turn off that. Alright. I'm going to pull the intake horn off and same thing. Pull this connector out. Oh, I have it on there. This is 
unleashed. Remember, this tab is supposed to be on the bottom. I got mine the other way. Maybe it. Okay, now we're back. Undo this. Same thing. You find that, push in and push out, and you release the bolt. Which one is this? Oh, Wagner. See, two different bulbs. Eh, that's life. We'll take our package out. Get our bulb out. Remove that. Remember, this is where we take our connector and uh, slide it. And remember, right? Straightforward, fat at the top, the two small sides on the bottom. It's going to be a little tricky, but you'll know when you're in there. I should kind of, oh, look at that. So much easier this time around. Went right in. Let's get this food off. So much easier. Just like that, remember they click over the ears and we have to trim this. So let's trim that. So here is our existing, right? This is not sharp at all. You guys could see a, have, see a common theme here. Non-sharp objects. Just working our way around. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I just put a hole in my finger. So it's kind of a pain in the ass to use it right now. I was drilling out an idle jet. And you know, it's freaking cold that you lose your sense of touch and feeling. And, uh,. Just a sleight of hand. Next thing you know, I'm drilling my finger. <laughs> That's okay. I am a union heavy duty diesel mechanic by trade. I worked in the restaurant business to put me through college. So I gave up being a hand model a long, long time ago. Slide this through. Oh, dirt on me the other way. Plug it in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to zip tie everything so everything is not, that module just isn't hanging around. Oh. It's virtually plug and play. Which is cool. I like plug and play. See it's just hanging in there. I'll zip tie this module like down here so it's not, you know, flapping around. So let's turn on our lights. And we have LEDs. So I will not I have to wait till nighttime. And we'll do some driving. I'm gonna go blind some people. Because I can't aim my headlights at the house because I have an uneven driveway. My driveway is on a slope. When you aim your headlights, it's supposed to be on an even territory. 
It's because naturally if my driveway is inclined on and up, my headlights are going to be pointed up no matter what. We'll take our intake horn, and guess what? Pop it right back into place. And that's it. Alright guys, Aux Beam F16 LED headlights installed on the Honda Element, and I'll see you guys at night. Alright guys, moment of truth, it's a little dark out, so we'll take it for a little test spin, see how bad we're going to blind some people. But here we are up close. Now the plan is for me to, when I get a chance to take it to my job, when there's some free space and try and adjust the headlights as best I can. As you can see, nice and bright. Let's take it for a little spin. I'll back away from the house. We'll see. Definitely a drastic improvement from OEM, without a doubt. And I could just tell that they're aimed you know, a little high. Well, you know, that's just because the, the light pattern just scattered all over the place. But let's see if we can get up close to um, to a building. We can really see, you know, how off we are. When you aim your lights, you really want to be at you want to find your high point close, I mean, you want to find your dead center close to your vehicle, then you back away 25 feet, and then you aim from there. Oh, there's some people. I usually go to the church when uh, I test drive vehicles. They have a nice open parking lot. I don't really want to trigger them so much attention. I'm trying to be respectable. But you can get real close to the to the light and let's see. Usually on your headlights there's like a dimple, right? But I don't feel any dimple like a divot and that's where you measure your center light so what we literally have to do is pull up close pick the center which would probably be maybe around here and we back away 25 feet right we have to mark that we back away 25 feet and we have to match that line You see how the pattern is spreading? It's going farther out. You want to push that cutoff down to get to that where that center line is. Excuse me, a little sick. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, like I said, I'll, I'll do an I'll do an update. I'll do an upload uh, once I get some time in the shop to uh, adjust the headlights. But for now, I'm gonna be like everybody else, blinding everybody. Uh, if you guys seen, I did a quick uh, loop around my block, kind of sorta. Nobody flashed our lights. It is what it is. So definitely the Aux Beam F16. Great light output, even with my hazy lights. You can definitely see a nice nice little view. Let's see if we do... Uh... Okay, so if we go bright, look at that. It goes even higher. Alright? That's it, guys. If you guys found this video helpful, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and guess what? I'll see you guys on the next episode of Pat Taste Performance. That's it. That wraps up the Honda Element V-Log Edition Part 2. Later.